man, what of the yeah, battles we'll you might have? You know, I mean, you see how it goes all the time when you're in the gym. So, you know, obviously, you, you have to pick a winner every single day. You got to be honest. I feel like it go back. The first practice, they definitely won. They definitely got us. I feel like the last couple of practices has been just back and forth, or you know, DBs will win a couple. Or, but it really ain't really about the DBs and receivers all, all the time because maybe being zone and it's a linebacker right here or a safety right here. You feel me? So I feel like it's just you just great work. You know, iron, iron sharp is iron. Is that? I guess like obviously the wide receivers have built a reputation over the last four or five years, and the cornerback room seems to be getting back to that. Can you feel the back? Like you talk about the back and forth in that situation. Does it actually feel like an iron, iron sharp is iron situation now versus maybe? And I know you weren't here, but just in comparison to what you maybe were seeing when you were being recruited there a couple of years ago. Uh, definitely. Yeah, I think the competitiveness has ramped up this year. Especially this spring, I think it's the the competitive spirit and everybody just went up and just everybody just feel more hungry this year. So I feel like everybody just competing hard and just trying to just be the best that we can be every day. Confidence doesn't ever seem like it's been an issue for you, but how did the experiences you had last year, stepping up in that Penn State game and other spots, build? I, I, I guess even more confidence. Uh, it definitely just just the more reps you get on the field, it just definitely just builds more confidence once you see. Once you see basically about everything you're gonna see in a game, you're just gonna get more comfortable and you just it just feel more at ease and just feel more just like football, you know. What do you see your role at in this defense? Uh, I think just it's a, a guy that can play anywhere in the back end, just a guy that can feel me help in special teams whenever they wherever they need me at this year, just can go out there and just give it my all. Yeah, I've been in the nickel a lot this spring. I've been going back and forth so it's been a new uh, transition for me, but it's, it's really not that new. I played uh, some nickel in high school. I really didn't play that much uh, last year because I was just trying to just get back and get, get into the groove of college football, but it, I'm back to it now. What's the difference between you know, working outside and working inside? I think it's just the two-way go that you get of being in a slot. You can go inside, outside, and if you press, it's, it's the catch technique compared to backpedaling, and you, me, uh, you, got, the, you got the sideline. The sideline's an extra defender. And it can help you certain times. You know? Obviously, it's a great thing for Denzel to be back, Jordan. You know, here, but for you, how do you navigate that with those guys being bad and trying to stay, you know, the next step? And you're I think it's just, I think it's just about just me pushing them and them pushing me. Last year, it was about me just learning and they was helping me as, as the older vets. And now we all back again. So it's just like, this is more like, I think it just give me a chance to learn more and just watch the vets. Like this has been about to be a full year starter. That's big, you know? So just watching everything he do, how he prepares for practice, how he prepares every day, this is going to help me in the long run. Is patience, has patience been your long suit since you've been alive, or have you had to learn a little bit about patience the last couple of years? I think um, you're so just like what you were just talking about there, watching, patience sometimes watching is, others do it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Patience is like it's a thing that's very hard, especially when you come out of high school. You're one of the higher recruited players, yeah. and you go don't you come here and then you probably don't play as much as you thought you would, or play as much as you want to, you know. And it just, I think patience is something that you just gotta just hold on to and just grab it and just don't let it go. You feel me? It's like it's just, it's easy for a, a guy like me to get mad and run run away and go somewhere else and you feel me? Do whatever I want to do. But I think patience is key and I think these last couple of years it, my patience has definitely gotten better and it just it's helped me just be a better player, a better man. Who's ingrained that in you? I mean, uh, Coach, uh, you know. Because Walden over here was just talking a minute ago. You know, it's going to be a competitive thing here if you come to Ohio State, you know, in y'all's room. And, and you found that it is. But uh, has he talked to you about that as it's gone along, too? I mean, about about the patience aspect? Uh, a little bit, but not, you really just you really just know. You feel me? Like, you, you would know, if not, like, what's going to go on. Yeah. And I think a lot of it comes with, like, just knowing yourself and knowing what, what your abilities is and knowing where you really are. Feel me? I think some people get too ahead of themselves, or you know, think they are ahead of where they are, really are. It just it's just a look in the mirror. You feel me? And, and how tough is it when you get your shot to not like, just press the gas to the floor? You know what I mean? <laughs> and uh, you just gotta go in play, there, you know, and do your job. Yeah. I feel like that's the only thing that should be on your mind once you get that chance is go in there and do your job. Because the worst thing that can happen, just something, just, you know, just go out there and just do your job. You feel me? Yeah. That's all I got. Well, uh, when I say Jeremiah Smith, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Freak, athlete, he's big, strong, fast. It's like a lot of the same things you see in Marvin, but not not the same. He's kind of younger right now, but yeah, freak.